Hey Mountain Bike fans, Coach Brian Russell here with the Anne Arundel Blur. I want to thank you for joining us for this third video in our series on the foundational mountain bike skills. Today we're going to cover the skill of braking and I want to encourage you if you haven't watched our first two videos go ahead and watch those again. All of these uh, videos are in a series of progressions so we want to make sure you've got the three key essentials covered, the neutral and ready position uh, before we get into braking today. Pretty excited about today's video. Uh, we're going to be uh, led by Coach Levon Kirkpatrick, the head coach for the Anne Arundel Blur, and his son Aiden uh, are going to walk you through uh, the skill of braking and give you some demonstrations. So after a quick safety check, uh, we're going to hand it on over to Coach Levon and uh, Aiden to take the rest of the video for us, and I'll meet you again at the conclusion. Hey folks, before we get into the training, we're going to start each video with a safety check. We want to make sure everyone is dressed uh, appropriately for biking as well as the weather. Everyone has a helmet on and you've got enough water uh, on hand for the remainder of the activity. We also want to give that bike a pretty good function check, in this case the A, B, C, Ds. A equals air. Do I have enough air? in each tire. I want to check that out. B stands for brakes. If I apply both brakes, are both of those functional and my bike's not moving anywhere? C is equal to chain, cassette, and cranks. Is everything in working condition on the bike? And then finally D for derailleur. I want to click that derailleur a couple times and make sure everything is working properly. And then last thing, I've mentioned this before, just whatever area you're doing these skills in, really you don't need a lot of area somewhere in your backyard, but if you're at a local park, make sure that activity is good uh, per local rules and regulations. We don't want anyone getting in trouble while they're doing this. Uh, just make sure you're aware of your surroundings uh, and are in a good area to do these skills. Mountain bike fans, Coach Levon here of the Anne Arundel Blur. Today's lesson is braking. Braking is used to reduce speed, control speed during descents, and bring a bicycle to a controlled stop without skidding. Consideration should be made for those with varying technologies of brakes, i.e., disc versus rim, and discrepancies in setup. Proper brake lever alignment is critical to braking and the success of many other skills. Adjust the position, angle, and reach of each brake lever to best suit the type of brake and rider. One finger braking is preferred, two is acceptable for smaller riders or lesser brakes. Let's take a look. As I begin to show you what braking looks like, quick note to say that we've ordered this video series to build upon one another. So again, if you haven't seen the first two, recommend you pause here and go back and watch them. That's because if we're applying our three key essentials, we're well prepared for braking because we have at least one finger on the brake levers and anytime we need to apply brakes, we want to be in the ready position, crouched athletic stance with knees and elbows bent, with weight in the feet, and of course, level pedals. Now, the first learning point about braking is that we want to apply controlled, steady pressure to both brake levers at the same time. To apply pressure to the rear brake takes half of our braking power out of the equation. We want all possible braking power available, especially during steep descents and when we need to stop quickly. If you're following along, go ahead and stand next to your bike and get into a ready position. Apply pressure to only the rear brake and lean into your bike. See what happens? That rear tire starts to skid forward because your front brake isn't helping. Now, do the same thing by only applying pressure to the front brake and lean into your bike. See what happens there? The bike starts to come up in the back and we're facing a potential over the bar situation. Now, start again in the ready position and apply steady pressure to both brakes as you lean in. See how much better stopping power? And to avoid jerky motion or jamming on the brakes to produce a skid, you want to apply steady pressure at the same time. Kind of like squeezing a tube of toothpaste. You know what happens when you quickly squeeze a tube of toothpaste? That's right, a mess. We don't want it to become a mess through skidding out on the trail. 
Second learning point is to brace with both legs with the heel down. This leg bracing and heel drop helps to counteract the forces of braking that want to propel you, the rider, forward. We'll take a closer look at that during our moving demonstration to see how it helps. So again, for braking, controlled steady pressure on both brakes, like squeezing a tube with toothpaste, and brace those legs while dropping your heels. Let's see what that looks like. Now that I've told it and showed it, why don't you ask it? What questions do you have about the braking skill? Coach, when we went over the three key essentials, you said to at least have one finger on each brake lever. Is it okay to have more than one finger on the brakes? On my bike, I need a couple of fingers on each brake to get enough stopping power. Great question, Aiden. While most riders nowadays have hydraulic disc brakes and don't need more than one finger of pressure to gain enough stopping power, some older bicycles might not have hydraulic brakes. And in those cases, certainly it's okay to put a couple of fingers to get enough leverage. If you do have hydraulic brakes and still have some trouble getting enough leverage, check the position of the brake levers themselves, or perhaps take your bike into the local bike shop for service if you're still having issues. This is why we check our brakes before every ride, and we should be able to catch braking issues early enough before we get out on the trail. Great question. Okay folks, this is your turn to do it. Here's one of our athletes practicing the skill. Good athletic stance, nice smooth stop. Good control, nice level pedals. Now that you've had a chance to do it, let's review it. What questions do you still have about braking? Coach. I was told once never to use the front brake when going downhill to avoid going over the handlebars. Do I still need to use both brakes even when going downhill? Another great question, Aiden. And that's a pretty common one for some of our athletes who were taught like I was when I was younger. You always want to use both brakes, especially downhill. Here's a reminder of why that's important. One, by only using one brake, we're using only half the braking power of our bike and we need all the braking power we can get when going downhill. Two, if you remember from our demonstration, only having the rear brake applied is likely going to put us in a skidding situation where we've lost traction control and we certainly want as much traction as possible when heading downhill. Great question and thanks for asking. As we progress through the foundational skills, we want to give athletes and coaches some ideas of how they can create some drills or games to practice those skills and make training a little more fun. A good drill is to reduce the length of the box the athlete needs to stop in or increase the slope of the braking lane and measure how long it takes to brake. Let's close out this video with some examples of how to improve those skills. In this section of the video, we'll have a series of riders performing braking just slightly incorrectly. See if you can catch the error and practice calling out how you'd give positive correction to it. Here we go with some examples of braking. Did you catch the error? If you saw heels up, not heels down, you'd be correct. So a quick correction might be heels. You can establish something that works for you and your athletes. Okay, let's take a look at that again. Smooth on the brakes. I'm dazed, dude. Heels down, good stance. So that brings us to the end of our third video. I wanna thank you so much for joining us for this lesson. Uh, also, special thanks to head coach Levon Kirkpatrick and his son Aiden from the Anne Arundel Blur for leading us through the braking skill. Stay tuned. Another video next week. We're going to be going through bike and body separation. Uh, encourage you to subscribe to the channel. Put your comments and your questions 
uh, down in the notes there. Uh, everyone stay safe, have fun, and again, hope to see you next week.